Hello! In this episode of the Taylor Series Vlog, I wanted to bring a little levity into people's lives the only way that mathematicians know how. To build an interdimensional portal and pipe in the Taylor Series videos from alternate dimensions, the only catch is, of course, we don't actually have interdimensional technology available, but we are pretty close to cryogenic storage. So naturally, what I did was completely abandon the Taylor series in a lifetime of advancement trying to figure out how to make a cryogenic storage tank. Then I hopped right on in that sucker and put myself right next to Jimmy Hoffa where I figured we could pass a couple of millennia undisturbed, and it worked. When I woke up, I was in a society far more advanced than the one I had left, and then I used the rest of my remaining days to solve aging. And it took me about 300 years to figure out how to make a time machine, but then I did. Once I figured out the time machine, it was a hop, skip, and a jump to an interdimensional device considering the two technologies relied on each other, then I went back in times, and now here I am again. The interdimensional device right here is actually pretty darn neat. I designed it to look like an old school radio so no one would know the difference. I mean, and let's face it, this is something that pretty much everyone would do if they were faced with this kind of problem, of course. I got a whole lot of superpowers along the way and robotic replacements for those parts, but I can't show those in public lest I be studied by the very small minds of the scientific community of the day. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into the new dimensional stuff and see what's cracking. Hello! In this episode of the Taylor Series videos, I was going to tell you a little bit about addition. You see, one time I was a ninja flipping upside down through the air, and what I discovered was that 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 3 plus 3 equals 6, but 4 plus 4 equals sandwich, and I'll tell you why. Hello! Today is April the 1st, and of course because the month is 4 and the day is 1, that makes it Pi Day. Exactly. No need to ever involve the year, it's 4.1. And because I'm a math teacher and I always love a pun, because it's Pi Day, I decided I would eat one on camera. Hmm. Tastes like science. And that's why in this universe you can divide one by zero. I don't know why I felt the need to add in this universe to that sentence, but for some reason it felt right. Like the fact that gravity points upward. Hmm. Anyway, the number you get when you divide one by zero is because we strive to make mathematics relevant to our day-to-day -day lives, I'm going to teach you one of the more useful results we get from mathematics. And that is, what is the square root of a pork chop? And today I invented the shoe. Let's do some math. It's uh, day 473 of the meme -ocalypse. Most of the world's population has been turned into meme zombies, and I managed to fight them off. Bought ourselves a couple of days, maybe. Hopefully the television's outside playing memes on repeat. We'll keep them at bay for a while. Yes, they'll get bored, but it's the best I've got. Okay. I wanted to talk today about the idea of super roots and super logarithms. It's something that's very important, and who would have thought that knowing that would have actually prevented the memocalypse, but I suppose hindsight is twenty twenty. This is how it works. When you have a superpower, which is essentially the same thing as repeated exp it's them. <laughs> as we all know. A plus B quantity squared equals A squared plus B squared, and nothing else. It's a mystery why the rest of math doesn't work, but some mysteries were not meant to be solved. I'm a day of the week. Hi, I'm Derek from the Terror Series. Even though you look nothing like Well, after hundreds of years of labor, that was quite the payoff. I, uh, I regret nothing. So, I suppose I'll see you next time. I would like to thank our robot overlords for providing our meat machines with the oxygen we need to survive and be fruitful. Thank you very much for doing that for us. I appreciate it, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, yep, yep, that was it. That was awful. Let's never do that again. Okay, yeah, destroy it. Let's destroy the machine. Completely. Every single little bit. I don't care if it has a function, or if knowing that technology would save the entire planet from the impending destruction from the memocalypse. I don't care. Just destroy it.
No, completely destroy it. Do not let that fall into anyone's hands. No one's hands are the right hands. 